Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I bring you a little chatty get ready with me. Um, inspired by the Colorado Rockies because I'm going to a Rockies game tonight. So I use a lot of purple based products. Um, and I just thought this would be like a fun time to show my new products as I'm using them in the video. So if you want to see how to get this purple Colorado Rockies inspired look, then just keep on watching. <laughs> So let's get into the makeup. I'm going to do my eyes first, which is backwards for me because I usually don't. But I already decided I'm going to work with purple. So we'll see what happens. I already did my eyebrows off camera. I really am not a fan of them today, so they're not cooperating. I also used the Essence Make Me Brow that was in my haul video. So I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like it's way darker than my actual brow pencil. But we'll just go with it. Anyways. And I'm going to prime my eyes with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. It's like my go-to right now. I really, really like it. I need a little mirror because I'm super blind and I just need a mirror to work with. That's not like super in my face. And I can't see with my glasses off. Anyways, I'm going to zoom you guys in closer. I adjusted my ring light and zoomed you guys in as close as possible. Because I don't have contacts right now. So hopefully you guys can see me pretty well. I always feel weird doing my eyes first because I feel like I'm not coordinated enough to do my foundation last, but that's fine. I really like this stuff. Like, it doesn't have a color to it, I don't think. Not as much as like my cargo one I usually use, which is my holy grail absolute favorite on planet earth. So I'm going to use the eye and cheek palette by Tarte. This bad boy, which is gorgeous. So I'm just going to use this like shimmery white shade to set my eyes, which I usually don't. But like for something different, oh my gosh, this is a lot of shimmer. This would be better as an inner highlight, but you know, I didn't think it would be that much, but it's okay. I could really highlight the brow bone all over here. I don't know how this is going to affect my other shades. Hopefully not too much. It's also super doom and gloom outside today. So. And I'm going to a Rockies game. That's why I decided on purple. But it's really doom and gloom today. And I'm a little disappointed because I hate going to Rockies games when it's rainy. So I didn't know if I was going to use this palette in the video because um, I've used it already and it wasn't in my haul video, but I was like, eh, why not? It's like new makeup. And so I'm using the Juvia Place. I can't even put it in frame. It's that big. But I'm using the Juvia's Masquerade palette. And um, actually, no, I'm not. <laughs> I lied. Um, I thought I was going to use that purple in there. I don't know if I want to go super purple. But... I'm gonna use the Tarte Light and Bloom palette for like transition shades, even though now I like have glitter all over the place. I'm gonna try not to go anything too crazy. The Juvia's palette, palace, plate palette, I can't talk. Um doesn't have a lot of like transitional shades in it. And I wish it did because it's a beautiful palette. I just need like, no, I just don't need dark browns. I just wish, yeah, I had more shades. This is working. I also hate the way my face looks when you're zoomed up because I'm breaking out like crazy right now. So that's kind of a downfall, but it is what it is. I'm gonna try to use 
this. Okay, so that shade that I just used from the Tarte palette was Smarty Pants, and I'm going to go in with Flower Child to try to just blend things. I usually don't take more than one transition shade. Like I usually start with the pink shade in this palette, but I just kind of want to keep it simple. Like, I don't want to go too dramatic. I am just going to a Rockies game, but I mean, that could change. You never know, because it's me. I have I don't have enough room here to be honest like where I'm working right now I have no room I, I don't know what I was thinking just gonna add some dimension to the eyeball I don't know why I'm using a bunch of browns I feel like I use browns all the time and it's a terrible habit I have because I'm not sure why I do it. I just decide to use browns all the time. I was going to do a purple smoky eye, but I just feel like it's too dramatic for a game. So I'm going to try to keep a little neutral on the eyeballs. Plus, last time I did that, my husband's like, looks like you got punched in the eyeball. It's called makeup, and it didn't look that bad. It could come out like poop. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing it. I'm taking the purple shade from Z palette and just adding it like this. I feel like I get the most color when I pat it on my eye. Ooh, it's called Makita. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I also decided to do my eyes first because this shade actually doesn't have a lot of fallout, but I, for some reason I was thinking I was gonna use shades with lots of fallout. I'm gonna add a little black. We're gonna take Smoke Show from Tarlet and Bloom and just add a little black to the outer corners of the eyeball. We are going to go to the rest of the face and then I'll finish the eyes last. I know it's like a week. Um, so my camera died and now I'm going to do the rest of my face. I'm going to prime it with the hangover primer. This is just, oops. this is just the travel size. So that's what I'm doing. I got a new foundation to try on. Pretty excited. See how so I can get this done. So I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs foundation, Remarkable foundation, um, and I am using Ivory Medium. They said they didn't have like the perfect matte shade. Like I'm R106 on Sephora's Color IQ, and I had to go lighter. So hopefully going lighter isn't too bad. This is my first time trying it. I should have asked for a sample, but I was like, might as well just commit. So first time using it. Uh, it's a little weird dropper thing. Okay, okay. And I feel like this is gonna get really messy really fast. Hopefully not too much mess. Looks really thick, like really thick. And I think I was told to shake it. I'm not sure. Probably. It seems like it's really watery based. We're just gonna dry this out. I'm not sure how to do this. How to adult properly or how to girl. I feel like this is wrong. Seems like the applicator's really weird. I also usually color correct before this, but I'd like to see how foundations work first. I'm probably putting way too much. God only knows how much I'm putting. Oh. Then I'm going to use the Morphe 44. I'm going to use the Morphe M439 brush because this is like my go to. And I feel like this is already too orange for me because I'm not that orangey. Or at least I like to think I'm not. Wow, oh, that's got really nice coverage, I can already tell. My brush still smells like cleaning supplies. 
because I cleaned my brush. Hopefully this isn't too orange. I feel like it's gonna be because I'm not that orange. It was either go darker or go lighter and I didn't really want to go lighter and I feel like I'm just legit putting a mask on my face. How do you guys, if you own this, how do you apply it to make it look good? Like, it looks good. Like, it looks like a lot that I put on that, like, way too much. Like, I should have not gotten carried away, but I did. I think I'm gonna pop open my new beauty blender to take off some excess because I feel like I have way too much. Yeah, I just made myself look so cakey and I feel like I look really weird and ghost-like. Yep, definitely a ghost looking thing right now. But like, I went lighter because I'm like, well, I can just bronze up my face, but um, this looks like, terrible. It doesn't look as bad in person. Maybe it does. Maybe it looks just as bad. Who knows? Yeah, I'm um, definitely looking pretty paley here. Pretty ghostly. It'll be fine. I'll make it work. Let's pop open a new beauty blender and try to get off some of this excess because I almost don't even need concealer. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, I got my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and my Holy Grail, so I'm just going to use this. Um, hopefully it's not too... Wow, it looks so different when it's full. Mine is like legit out. Like it's... Yeah. Cover up some dark circles. I feel like I don't need to spot anything because it's legit covered up. A lot. I'm surprised how much it covered, which I'm really impressed with. But yeah, we're gonna bronze up the face and we are going to make me look less dead. Maybe the powder that I put on my face, because like I have a darker powder that I, I mean, I don't like to use it, but this is the NYX, what is this? Mineral powder? Oh crap. I like it, but it's like really, like I feel like it adds orangey shades to me. And talking about like being cakey as if I need anything else to make me more cakey. There is that one. I'm going to set my under eyes with the same powder. So I also set that with the e.l.f. powder brush. That's my favorite brush. This is the setting brush by Real Techniques. Absolute go-to. I have fine lines and usually everything just sets there and it's a hot mess. Feels like I'm pretty pale still. Let's try to bronze up the face. I'm gonna use the NYX Matte Bronzer and this is in medium right here. Sometimes I accidentally add too much and we have a problem, but I think we'll be fine. Well, I usually use, when I go to Rocky Themes, this purple blush by Makeup Geek called Secret Admirer. So I'm going to use that one. And what brush did I set my face up? Oh, I'm going to use Wet n Wild. I think it's a con technically a contour brush, but I like it for blush. So. I'm gonna like pick up a ton of that. I feel like once you add color to your face, you're okay. I'm going to use Blinded by the Light as my highlighter today. I feel like this has like a lot of chunky glitter in it. Like a lot. But it's really pretty.
I also just realized I didn't use any of my new ColourPop stuff. What is wrong with me? Oh well. And there will always be another video. And you guys back in and we're going to finish the eyeballs. There's not much left to it besides mascara and, you know, bottom lash line. So let's do this. Back into the Juvia's Place palette. Do some Makita. And then we'll do some black. Oh my gosh. My area is a disaster. If only you guys could see it. Add some black to the bottom lash line with that purple. I kind of like that purple. Like that? Ooh, I like it. Okay, and then for the inner highlight, which I had a great idea for with this palette, the Tarte palette, I'm going to use this purple shade called fairy is my inner highlight and i feel like it's gonna look so bomb because it's swatched beautifully so i have high hopes for this i'm gonna add a little bit of this one the middle shade oops i just like poked it, it doesn't have a name but i'm gonna add a little bit of that on top to hopefully make this more calm. I did my mascara because I feel like watching that for five minutes isn't fun. And then I did my lips because lining my lips is a pain in the butt. Um, I used Leather Matte Lippy Stick by ColourPop. I thought it'd be a little too purple. I might be pushing it. I might just switch it for a nude. I haven't decided. But yeah, and so then we're gonna start everything with Urban Decay's D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. Um, I'm really loving this foundation, not gonna lie. And yeah, with that, that completes this look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and just chatting with me. Um, don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up the video if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.